Welcome back to Artists and Authors. I'm your host, Steve Walling. My guest for this segment is Chris Elkins. I got that right, Chris? Yep. And you do music in some way, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes, no, I'm, you're a performer. I'm Big Elk. You're oh, Big Elk. There yeah. you, I knew there was something deeper there. <laughs> so, Chris, um, we were talking before we went on camera, mm -hmm. and... Uh, You've been doing music for a couple of weeks now. You like it? Yeah, yeah, it's going going pretty good. Well, goes back, goes back. What'd you say about eighteen when you got serious? Uh, yeah, eighteen. I think it was when I first started playing in bands uh, around town, and um, yeah, we had we had a good time. You know, we can find that in history books, right? <laughs> yeah, and yeah, in a book. I'm sure it's in a book somewhere. Yeah. So you've been working here with bands in the, in and around the Central Fresno mm -hmm. Tower area and yeah. stuff. Um, you you were doing music for what station? Oh, back yeah, we were the house band for KRZR um, back in ninety five ninety six. We did a lot of shows for Diamond Billiards um, and a couple of other you know places in Lemoore, and, and it was a lot of fun. Yeah, but you left the band world and you went out on your own, right? Yeah, I, you know, yeah, I had kids and um, going through doing the <laughs> life happens, right? <laughs> yeah, and it and it and it really just kind of came back around. I, I moved away. I was living up in uh, Oakdale, um, up north. I played tinkered around in bands just for fun. But when I came back here, um, uh, I, I was here for. I ran into a lot of some some of the guys that I know, and I ended up playing with a guy named Gregor Ross, who kind of got me back into playing. Uh, and some other guys, a uh, uh, great little band I played with called the Dip Myers. But Gregor got me playing guitar and backing him up singing, and we played a lot of shows, had fun. Went back to Nashville and played for Cumulus. I think it's Cumulus. We did the Nash Next and yeah. did that that whole. So day. you finally decided to get serious about it yeah about a year and a half ago um uh i had a good friend of mine uh who was a musician great drummer he was uh in the drum line with me at fresno state he passed away wow. and then my uh, father-in-law passed away and then my dad had a stroke all within three three weeks and that's that's a tough uh yeah, of and, and it kind of put things into perspective. I looked at what I was doing for work, and yeah. it wasn't, I didn't enjoy it. Um, and then at one point, you know, going through all of that, trying to figure out um, how to help out with things, I had to take time off of work. So I started calling um, uh, places like Press Box, Miss Kitties, Grogs, and trying to see if I can drum up some business playing yeah. some acoustic shows. and. Within about a month, I was playing three or four nights a week, and I've been doing acoustic shows and full live band shows right. uh, it, uh, here at uh, Goldstein's and Tower. Mm -hmm. Also, one of the places I was playing regularly uh, once a month, uh, Lucy's, which is right. a great, great spot. Um, so, you know, over the last year and a half, it just turned into this snowball, and then finally we started uh, recording an original record. We're doing. Well, hold four on, we're going to talk oh, about okay. that. But that all that all came to an end with the uh, you know self lockdown in yeah the quarantine and stuff, stuff. You, know, you can't perform out in, in the world but you were doing some live streaming you said yeah yeah it, um the, we, I, I, I'm I'm good friends with the owners of Jackson's uh, Jackson's Roadhouse up, yeah. uh, uh, up going towards all the areas technically in Clovis. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Brian and Kelly Hillman um, have done a lot as far as really bringing a, an awesome venue for live music. And, and once it got shut down, Brian is crazy smart and he's a, a whiz with computers and mm -hmm. just pretty much anything um, that's tech. Yeah. He started playing with the the live stream because yeah. they just they they, they love music. They've yeah. got a great band, What Comes Next uh, mm -hmm. too. And he just slowly over the course of a month just turned it from kind of the live stream that you saw where people you know everything's off and everything to just an amazing hd quality performance that you cool. can see every week now um, chris is there an archive of, of those uh live streams yes YouTube? you can go to jackson's roadhouse tv on uh youtube right. and all of the i think i've got four or five performances so that i've done so on you're there, there. But you also got some stuff on YouTube personally, right? Yeah, I uh, just uh, launched the the Big Elk Band channel. Right. Um, I think I've got one video on that at this point. We're actually going to be releasing a video for okay. uh, one of my songs called "Pot to Pissin." Pot to uh, Pissin. All right. Yeah, that'll be that'll be out um, hopefully tomorrow, okay. uh, possibly later today. We're getting and, that up. And that's it. in conjunction. <clears throat> now we're going to talk about mm. you got an album coming out. Yes. Yeah. 
and I, I assume Pots Piston is is in conjunction with that album. Yes. Okay. Yes, we've been recording at Rabbit Hole Studios. Here, um, here local. Yeah. The, are they in Clovis? Or? It's technically in Fresno, but yeah. there's like a little island way off of Locan and Shields that's still technically Fresno. And so there, he's out there. He's got a little, got some property out there and an awesome uh, so you, studio. You get routed to call the <clears throat> Fresno Sheriff. Yeah. Sure. I just wanted to clarify that. Yeah. But, okay, Fresno. so you're out there and you're working on this album. Mm -hmm. uh, got a good studio to work with. Yeah, amazing studio. Yeah. People, you got, you know, you got your band. Now you're gonna call it, your band's called Big Elk. Yeah, Big Elk Band. What does that have to do with you? <laughs> what happened to me? <laughs> you, you're the Big Elk. It's guy, funny. Right? I've had so many nicknames over yeah. my lifetime since I was like little. Because when I, I'm Chris, right? Yeah. So when I was growing up, I think there was a couple of grades where I just skipped having my first name. I went by Joey actually, because my middle name's Joseph. Because okay. when I, when you're in, especially back when I was growing up, you'd have Chris R, Chris M, and they're calling out. Yeah, you know Chris E. And back then that didn't hey, go over Chris so e. right. Yeah, exactly. okay. So that didn't. You so that. you know, I mean, uh, Gregor called me Elk Skin Rug, yeah. uh, and then actually gnarly Charlie from uh, Kiss Country forgot my name because yeah. I was opening up for Gregor at, at one of the shows that we did, and he looked at me and went, uh, "Big Elk, we'll give it." A, and then so yeah. he he dubbed me Big Elk, and then that kind of just stuck. Yeah, so. So you, you fight also? I mean, that's a great name for like a, you know, oh, one yeah. of these mis no. mixed martial uh, arts. I know. No, Big none, of that. Okay. none of that. But, but you do do music, and yeah. you got this album coming out. It'll be out in January. I mean, in July. Yeah, hope, okay. well, I don't hopefully. want to put it off too long. In yeah. July, hopefully. Yeah. Um, it, you got all the tracks recorded, and you're in the, the mixing Yeah, we're, we're, we're mixing. Uh, we're working with uh, two amazing engineers. Kyle Baker's the, the owner of Rabbit Hole, and then um, Tito. Uh, is his assistant that helps actually he's been he's been awesome on the record so we're excited so we're gonna find that on your web page and mm -hmm. we're gonna get updates on your web page yeah no, and not. also on Facebook and Instagram okay. uh, Big Elk so yeah. it's Big Elk that's where we we go yeah. to look right yep okay go to Big Elk to find Big Elk there you go you're gonna do some you're gonna do a cut for us here in just a minute live yeah um, so you were doing a lot of acoustical stuff you you obviously you have formed a band to, to back you up now mm -hmm. Um, you got a live performance coming up here. You, you were telling me about yeah. This Saturday, be? this Saturday, we're finally going to be uh, getting a chance to perform in front of people. It's just going to be an acoustic show. I've got um, my good buddy Justin Williams, who's played. Yeah. He's going to play cajon for me. Uh, many of you will know him as. Uh, Bartender from Goldstein's and uh, has played in Gold. Oh, I thought Boys. you were going to say like Little Elk or something. <laughs> no. Oh, he was the bar he's bartender. He's actually bigger. Than, he's taller than me. Yeah. Um, All right. Yeah. So he'll he'll be out. Uh, he'll be joining me uh, at some point uh, Saturday uh, mm -hmm. to play some cajon. We're going to have a good time out at Press Box on uh, Champlain and Shepherd. Uh, show starts at nine. We'll be out there till it closes. Probably. Okay. So this is the fourth Saturday. Would be what? Uh, what is the fourth? Count. Fifth, six, six, this will be the sixth. sixth. Right. Yeah. So Saturday the sixth. Uh, you you know, for those of you that are wanting to stretch a little bit, get out and listen to some good music. And you're going to listen to to Chris here, so you understand what I mean when I say good music, because uh, he's going to do something for us. I had to pay him a lot to get this done, but <laughs> no, he's he's a good guy. Uh, looking forward to the album coming out. Anything else, Chris? You want to want to share before we? Uh, um, yeah, just just want to thank uh, uh, Mike and guys for having me on uh, uh, rabbit hole we're actually going back out today we're still tracking I'm actually helping doing um, guitar work for Gregor Ross again we're doing a new album for him as well um, yeah and everybody just stay safe and just know uh, uh, in times like this everybody's got different opinions but it's the, to everybody out there that might not share the same opinion as me I want to remind you that I still love you and I'm glad that we're still friends because we're adults and we can have a conversation and not <laughs> hate each other for it so I've seen a lot of well, stuff I, out on social media now, Chris, people I are getting crazy to show you you don't know what I got coming down oh, okay. no <laughs> no hey you know what I hear you and I appreciate that because um, we need to talk Yes, not absolutely. you and I. Right, I'm done talking. No, but people <laughs> need to talk. You know? Yeah, this is a time. You know, people have had time to reflect. Um, my generation, a little bit earlier than yours, mm -hmm. you know, we we had a lot of stuff going on. Oh yeah, and there was a lot of you know. Kind You've of craziness. probably like, got more more experience yeah. with this than anybody. But you, you know, know, the one thing that we were able to do, we were able to talk. Mm -hmm. You know, yeah. Maybe we screamed when we're out out in the streets or whatever, 
But when we weren't there, we were able to talk. And we need to talk now. Yeah. And it's not you and I. But you. Right. You no, know, I hear you. Okay. Yeah. So, hey, he's got a great message, folks. Uh, we're going to cut away here to a commercial. You're going get to get to hear his music. And I'll see you when I come back. Take care. Cool. Hey, what's going on? I'm Big Elk, and this is my original song, Maybe I'm Not Human. I'm in perpetual motion. I hate the way it feels to be still. Just a shark swimming out in the ocean. Always searching for the kill. No chance of running, you'll never see me coming. No chance of running, you'll never see me coming. I might just eat you alive. You better learn how to swim. You better be fast if you're gonna survive. Survive. Maybe I was born this way. Maybe I'm not. human at all Maybe I'm not human at all Swimming out in the ocean, always searching for the key. No chance of running, you'll never see me coming. No chance of running, you'll never see me coming. I might just eat you alive. You better learn how to swim, you better be fast if you're gonna survive. Survive. Be safe. Love you guys. All right. <laughs>